Hey guys, I'm Jeremy, the Viper veteran. You know, I spent five years in the military, had tours of South America and of Iraq. But ever since I was a child, I've had this passion for snakes and teaching others about snakes. So I'm gonna do my best with all these videos, guys, to teach you guys about some of the some of the local snakes we have and try to dispel some of the myths because I really love these creatures and I want everybody else to have the respect for them that I do. The old man down in the corner slowly turns his head, takes a sip from. All right, guys, I want to show you these beautiful snakes that we found. I've got three different species of uh, water snake here. Two are non-venomous, one is venomous. Uh, two of these get mistaken for the venomous cottonmouth uh, on a regular basis, so I just wanted to kind of show you the differences between these guys. These are beautiful, beautiful snakes. Uh, if you look down here on the ground in front of me, I have the closest to the camera there, you have a diamondback water snake. In my hand here, I have a uh, plain belly water snake, it used to be called the blotch water snake, and right here on my right is the feared cottonmouth. Now I'm going to show you some differences in these guys. I'm going to bring this plain belly up here first to you. Now if you look here in the camera real close, now this guy used to be called a blotch water snake because as you can tell on his back, he has these beautiful blotches on his back, kind of the squares on his side. And these guys have the solid belly. Uh, I've heard they're also called sometimes the yellow belly water snake, but their classification as of right now is the plain belly water snake. Uh, if you'll look on this guy real close up here on his face, yeah, he may try to bite me a little bit. He has vertical bars here on his mouth. Those lines around his mouth, they call vertical bars. Uh, that's something that this cotton mouth over here on my right doesn't have. Uh, this guy has round pupils. Of course, we already know that even venomous snakes can have round pupils at times in low light conditions. Uh, this guy is a definitely a water snake, just like the other two down here on the ground. Uh, he eats a lot of fish, frogs, amphibians, and stuff like that. But as you can see, there's his belly. It's really, really just a plain yellowish color. Uh, really, really beautiful snakes. This guy also is lacking the heat sensing pits that the cotton mouth will have. Now these guys, whenever they get older, they kind of get more of a solid brown or black color. So they're mistaken for cotton mouths on a regular basis. These guys and this diamondback water snake I'm fixing to show you over here, they can get pretty large, you know, and when you hear, you hear a lot of times, man, I've, I've seen a six foot cotton mouth. Well, it's either usually one of these guys or one of these diamondback water snakes. Uh, there's also a broadband water snake here, but uh, we don't have one of those right now, but that's the other main species that we have in this area. Anyway, let me get this diamondback water snake up here off the ground see if I can keep from getting bit by him. He's been biting at me. He's already bit me a couple times. Let's put this guy up. This guy right here, this is the diamondback water snake. Uh, I'll pick him up here in a minute and I'll bring him up there closer to the camera where you can see. If you can, man, get over the top of this guy and kind of show the top of his head here. He's kind of flaring his head uh, to, to look venomous. He kind of has that triangular shaped head right now, but he's just flattening his head to look that way. But if you look here uh, uh, at the top of his head, you can see his eyes from the top. They're not shielded by a hood like with this cotton mouth over here. Uh, he also has the round pupils. Uh, let's see if I can get him picked up and uh, I'll show you the, the vertical bars and stuff around his mouth. might musk me a little bit all right now if you look look real close at this guy here let me get over here in the camera for you look real close on his mouth there he has those same kind of vertical bars around his mouth that the uh, plain belly had but this of course is the diamondback and if you look this guy's belly it's almost plain just like the uh, plain belly water snake it does have some little some little triangular shapes there on his belly this one's kind of dark, so he does kind of resemble a cotton mouth, especially when he was spreading his head like he is. But he has that chain link pattern down his back. It looks just like a chain link fence almost. Uh, he kind of has the same squares on the side that the uh, plain belly had. Uh, but these guys can get quite large. I mean, uh, I've seen them up around six foot. They, they, can, they can get really large. But these guys also eat fish and frogs and stuff like that. Uh, but another another beautiful snake that gets mistaken for cotton mouse on, on a regular basis. And as you can see also here, he has these really heavy, heavily killed scales that helps him to move through the water quickly and easily and smoothly. Very, very beautiful snake. Let's see if I can get him to open his mouth a little bit here. You can look right there, you can see his teeth. 
There's no fangs in there, but he does have some small teeth. Here on the on his face, he has the nostril and the eye, but he's lacking that, that heat sensing pit that this cotton mouth over here has. I'm fixing to show you. Very, very, very beautiful snake. Let me get him put up. Let's get this cotton mouth. stop now look at this guy's head here you can kind of get an overview of his head he kind of has he kind of has the same the same triangular head that the water snake was showing but this guy has a triangular head because of his head structure and the venom glands here behind the eyes if you'll look real close he has the uh the heat sensing pits right here between his eyes and his nostril this is a venomous cottonmouth now he does have a, a pattern you can barely see it on this guy he's almost completely browned out but uh, they will have kind of the jagged pattern on the on the sides, the bands on the sides, especially when they're younger. And if you look like he was showing from above, you can't see this guy's eyes from up here like you can on those water snakes. It's hooded by a scale over their eye right there. So you can't see his eyes very well. Very, very, very beautiful snake. And these guys, people think they're aggressive and that they'll try to chase you and, and, and hunt you down and bite you, but they're really not. They just really want to get away. That's all they really want to do. This is another, another beautiful, beautiful snake. Let's see if I can get him, get him on this hook here and where you guys can see him better. You can kind of see his belly pattern there a little bit too now. Uh, he has kind of the checkered pattern on his belly. And if you look up there around his head, he's got those, those heat sensing pits. Just a beautiful, beautiful snake. I don't want to let him turn on me there. Another gorgeous snake though. Uh, these guys are not as mean and as aggressive as people say they are. As you can tell, he was just trying to get away from me. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you really like these videos that I'm doing. Uh, if you would, please just kind of go down below and hit that bell below, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's really my dream to be able to, to take this worldwide, nationwide, make a career out of it so I can work with snakes all the time and, and try to teach you guys. A lot of the myths you hear are just not true. They're just not true. Anyway, thanks guys. If you'll go down below and subscribe and like my videos and even comment and tell me, let me know some stuff you want to see, some, some, some of the snakes you want to see, maybe some of the topics you want to see covered. And remember, knowledge over fear and hate.